I'm Nick Lucy from Scuba Diving Magazine and scubadiving.com. I'm here with Aaron Falls from Liquid Assets TV. We're here to cover the 2008 Scuba Show from beautiful Long Beach, California. Largest show this side of the Mississippi, easily the coolest. Let's find out. Let's go check it out. Department of Tourism. Annie, tell me why did you pick Long Beach Show? Well, um, we know that there's a lot of people who come here. Uh, we've been here every year, but this year we're really prioritizing scuba diving as one of our uh, markets. Excellent. So we want to have a big um, participation here. Well, we have a very di diverse marine life and um, our coral reefs is one of the best in the world. We have um, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which, which is Tubataha. Well, I just want to invite them to visit the Philippines, experience diving in the Philippines, and of course experience our very rich culture and the warm and hospitable people. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Annie. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure meeting you. Okay, we're here with Jim with Sherwood Scuba. Jim, tell me what's going on. What do we got? Well, Sherwood's doing a lot of innovative things this year, and in then we've introduced some new products. Uh, one is a very popular already lightweight travel bag for especially tropical. Uh, we've introduced a uh, high-end, high-performance regulator this year that is doing so well we're having trouble keeping them in stock. So uh, I'd be glad to go over a couple of those things with Let's you. Let's do it. Tell yeah. me about this this reg you got here. This regulator is the SR1, and we have completely redesigned uh, the Sherwood regulator to compete with the best of the best out there. About a year ago when we started design, we aimed at the four best breathers on the market and have happily come out with a unit that at this moment outbreathes every single regulator on the market. So what we've done is brought in a uh, nitrox ready, lifetime warranty, lifetime free parts uh, regulator that the build quality is super. Uh, it, is, it is built Sherwood tough. It's an environmentally sealed first stage. Um, Built-in swivel on it, which is a really uh, neat feature, especially if you're using dry suit. Pneumatically balanced second stage, balanced first stage. This is it's called the less than 10 pound bag. It weighs 9.1 pounds. So what you can do is add four or five more pounds of product into it, uh, and have it holds all your dive gear. You build it from the fins up. Um, it allows you to still use it as a roller bag. But especially for tropical gear, gives you the, uh, the ability to put all of your product in there and all of your clothing. When I go to the tropics, I've done this four times now, um, I can put all my clothes for the week and all my dive gear for tropical in this less than 10 pound bag. Built wow. in a nice handle on the top, um, compression straps, you can really cinch it down. Extra pockets on the outside that are for more, mostly clothing, that type of thing. So it's lighter, it's smaller than other bags. I mean, to look at it, it doesn't look any different or feel any different than any of the other bags, but I mean, literally, one finger. It is. It's a lighter material, but it's a very, it's like a ripstop material if you're into the mountaineering backpacking. Uh, so it's very strong, uh, we, but we build everything into it with the sole purpose of having it be something the tropical diver especially can use. Our, our hope is that you're diving in one cold water location, maybe you'd have a bag for that, and now we have something specific for the warm water travel. Okay, there is officially no reason for you not to book the trip. That's right. Right? We Thanks to Sherwood, you have to book the trip. You, you betcha. All right. Thanks, Jim. You're set to go. Thank you very much. All right. Coming by. You got it. You betcha. You can't take it all in as the thing. There's so much to see. Yeah. Oh, we, oh we, I found the place. We've got to go right here. Where is it? Over here. Now, you could go to any dive show and you could see gear and the cool new place to dive. Only in California will you get jerky at your dive show. It's a half a pound of Black Angus Dry Dip. They're vacuum still for freshness. So, so when you open it, it expands. You get it expands. When you open it, it expands. It expands into an entire cow. Wow. Would you like a sample? <laughs> yeah, really would, would we like a sample? <laughs> Do you like sweet or smoked? 
Can I flip a coin? Smokes. The camera guy says smokes, so we're gonna have smokes. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. That's good. As always, every day is Thanksgiving at the Long Beach Scuba Show. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Thank you. Turkey Hut, people. Wow. I need to floss now. But... I do. Is there a flossing booth? <laughs> Have you seen a flossing booth? <laughs> there's, all kinds of, there's all kinds of stuff here. There's Aussies. <laughs> Everywhere. Right? There's Spirit of Freedom Aussies here. All right. <laughs> I miss it. I miss the spirit of freedom, kids. I'm here with Edward from Ocean Encounters. Edward, how's the Long Beach show treating you? Uh, the show has been excellent. Uh, we have had uh, a lot of people come by. Uh, good, um, high interest in the in Curacao and also in the Ocean Encounters product. Great. What's what's so what's so great about Curacao? Uh, Curacao it has a very unspoiled type of uh, reef system. Uh, it's also a fringing reef, reef system, which makes it ideal for shore diving um, as well as snorkeling. Um, we have many dive sites along the south coast of Curacao, uh, so it's, it, the, most of the dive trips are less than 25 minutes. Okay. So it's easy, comfortable diving in Curacao. Good shore diving? Good shore diving. What's your favorite site? Uh, my favorite site is uh, is actually the one right off uh, uh, Lion's Dive, where there is an old broken mine sweeper. Oh wow! Um, there's really an abundance of uh, fish there. I personally I like the colorful reef fish a lot. It brings out the colors on the reef, so that's one of my favorite sites. Dive sites. And another one is the tugboat. That's a great wreck. Yes. Yeah. Very picturesque. Yeah. Very much so. To fulfill our do rag quota, huh. I'm here at Dan with Jeff. Jeff, what's going on in Dan? You know, we've got a lot of good things going on training wise. Uh, we've got the Desk Quest 3 that's just been introduced again. Uh, that runs from June until December. What we're trying to do is get more divers into taking programs that are geared towards dive safety. They're there to help look after their buddies, help look after other. Desk Quest 3 does just that. It promotes the fact that divers can get out there, take programs that'll lend them to being able to look after their buddies. Oxygen training, uh, training in AEDs, hazardous marine life injuries, all of those programs count. Being able to do field neurological assessments, all of those are programs that we really want divers to know how to look after so they can help their buddies. How would they get more information on these programs, Jeff? They need to go to their local dive centers. They can go to our website as well and find an instructor or a trainer who can teach the programs. But those guys, the dive centers, the instructors, the trainers, they're the ones that are, are really uh, charged with the responsibility of getting those programs out there and helping people to be able to take those courses. So again, go to their local dive centers, check with their local instructor, or check our website for find an instructor. You heard it here, support your local dive shop and get educated.